Welcome Taurus to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, the nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Taurus. So um, something very peculiar. My hands started itching as I was uh, working on your channeled message. So I have a feeling that um, for some, okay, there could be some money. Okay, coming towards you. Just FYI. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, what do we need to know about the person that is connected to Taurus and love? What messages want to come through in regards to the person that is connected to Taurus and love? What do we need to know about the person connected to Taurus and love? Where's the energy or vibration of the person connected to Taurus and love? What else can you pull to me? One more message that wants to come through, please, Spirit. Who is this person that's coming towards Taurus? Oh, wow. Well, well, very interesting. We have a confession and communication, okay, possibly from your twin flame. Also, there is a soulmate, okay? And finally, we have sacrifice that is neutral. So overall, what I'm seeing here is that you're dealing with two people, okay? There is a twin flame, there is a soulmate, a connection, and whoever this person is, um, they're they're kind of on the fence about sacrifice, okay? Um, yeah, they want to get off some sort of abuse. This could be mental, this could be drug abuse, uh, could be substance abuse, and they want to get out from being blocked. You know, they don't want to settle anymore, and they feel like they've been forgotten. Wow. So, whoever that you're dealing with, Taurus, okay, your person feels as if you... I don't know. They feel forgotten. They feel like maybe you don't care about them as much as they cared about you. But there is, you know, some something here. And I feel like it's the abuse. They're trying to get out of whatever this abuse is, you know, uh, to get out of this mental uh, thinking. This is something to do with a karmic partner, soulmate. Take as it resonates. Okay. Your person they don't know if they're going to make the sacrifice so let's see let's clarify spirit can you please clarify the energies of this person that is connected to taurus what can you tell me about the energies of this person what does this person want to say to its taurus at this time What can you tell me about the person that is coming towards Taurus? Two more cards, please, Spirit. One more. One more message that wants to come through from the person connected to you at this time. What do we need to know about your person? What do we need to know? Okay. 
We have different pages, and I came up here first. It says, you and this person don't share the same vision. Okay. There is a confession. Yes, you guys do share the same vision. However, I really feel like there's a disconnect. Um, we have unavailable. Okay. This person is unable to give you all that you deserve. This person is available. Okay. Also, we have it protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Okay, it's coming up neutral. Also, we have healing. Old wounds and childhood issues needs revisiting. So your person is healing. Okay, they're available. Okay, they don't they don't know if this is a protected connection anymore. Um, both you guys uh, actually think very similar. Okay, your person wants to communicate that they're they're trying to possibly heal themselves from whatever this abuse is, and um they're just tired of being blocked okay i'm not saying that you're blocking them but um they're tired of struggling or not feeling like you know they they have what they they want because they feel like they've been forgotten they're a little bit confused you know there's something that they still need to learn it's about happiness so this is what it feels like happiness comes from within it doesn't come from you okay maybe this person was hoping that you would uh help them you know not saying you baby them but that you would be a part of their life uh so that you guys could be happy together right at least that is uh the uh traditional uh way of thinking about relationships that's what I'm getting and I really feel like there's more than one person here that is involved your person is no longer wanting to sacrifice themselves that's what I'm feeling because they're on the mend I really feel like what spirit is wanting to tell me is that whoever your lover is they need to recognize that they need to heal themselves and not have you heal them okay I have also uh, an kind of like an, an energy that someone here is in another commitment or a relationship and because I see here two people and there's a blockage they don't want to be blocked anymore and they really feel like it's unfair that they can't really spend time with you in a physical just like you know a happy family or a, a legitimate relationship right Y'all know who you are. Okay, I'm just I have to put it out there. <laughs> Let's see what else. Let's see. Sperry, can you tell me a little bit more about this person? Please reveal to me what is the energy of this person. How do they currently think? How do they feel? What is it that they want? And what is the outcome? What is the energy of this person? Thank you. Look at this. Your person is looking uh, for the right time. Could be three days, three weeks. Maybe uh, they're waiting for the right time. You know, they're looking out at the sunset, maybe at the water, you know, waiting for you to come back, right? I really feel like your person is alone. Um, they're available. Okay, so I have a feeling like they're single. Um, maybe it's you, Taurus, is the one that isn't single, okay? Or maybe it's vice versa. Take as it resonates. Your person is waiting. They really feel like, you know, emotionally, they, they can't really open up. Okay, they can't even offer you love. Not even the smallest bit. This feels like depression, guys. What the heck? Um, your person wants to come back, but they're stressed. They're stressed about returning because maybe in the past seven years, it never really worked out. Okay. This person is getting very tired. Um, you know, they've always held space in their heart. They've always loved you and they always wanted to do the right thing. You know, I have a feeling that your person, they always want to do what's fair. They always wanted to speak their truth. 
However, um, someone is holding back, okay? This could be them. This could be you. I really feel like uh, someone here is not in alignment. So one person uh, was loving uh, and, and giving in that aspect. But one person couldn't really give in the physical, okay? And I really feel like here it's a divine masculine if we're talking twin flames, okay? So let's say divine masculine was unable to offer divine feminine a, um, a stable relationship, okay because maybe it's because they're a father maybe they have other obligations you know they have to turn their back away from the feminine energy okay they're not happy okay your person isn't happy um th this feels like depression okay because they had to hold back how they felt and maybe this is you okay somebody had to hold their feelings back and they feel like, you know, too much time has passed. And they keep thinking about the past. Maybe they were so naive to really hold on to this connection. And they're sitting here thinking, contemplating about what their next step should be. And their intuition is blocked. Again, it could be the abuse. Uh, it could be substance abuse. Okay, drug abuse. Um... Uh, whatever the case is okay your person can't think straight and um it's about making an offer in the physical okay they want to offer you something somebody okay i feel like whoever your lover is they want to offer you something okay taurus it's small it's not a lot but it's something okay they they understand whatever happens in the past happened okay they can't change that but they want to let go of all the hardships so that they can have this long-term stability with you. I have a feeling like this person waited for you for a long time. And I want to say seven to eight years. Okay. Let's see here. Taurus, this person has known you for some time. They've been waiting to have this family life with you. And they're they're kind of like getting tired you know they don't even know if they're ever gonna have it you know i see that they have uh some sort of inspiration to really figure out where they should go i feel like this person wants to travel okay um that's what i'm saying i feel like they're spending more time alone and they feel left out in the cold maybe you know someone is traveling and they feel left out also what i'm saying is that your person is holding back from communicating their insecurities, their fears, the secrets that, yeah, they're, they're kind of stuck in a toxic situation. You know, maybe for some, you're done with a Capricorn and, um, they're trying to figure out, you know, will this ever work? You know, is this third party situation ever going to end? Your person has been waiting to offer their love towards you. And, you know, they want to let go. They really do. But they feel like, you know, they, they can't have like this fresh new start with you. And what I'm seeing is that they want to get out of this thinking that they're always in conflict or competition with the soulmate over here. That's why they feel like they can't move forward. And they want to end it. Wow. Wow, what a, this person's energy is kind of really, it got my energy different. Like, um, you know, your person's patiently waiting, but they don't know what to do. They're tired of waiting. That's what I'm getting. Wow. Let's see. Now, what I'm getting here is that you could be dealing with a fire sign, could be another earth sign. Whoever the case is, okay, this person wants to come back. Now, there could have been some words, okay, that was spoken between the two of you. Um, you could be dealing with uh, whoever this fire sign is. Whatever case is, okay, both you and this person are not in alignment. Maybe it's because somebody here has a soulmate. Maybe uh, someone here is married. Um, and someone here is angry, okay, that the karmic um, had expectations, okay, and there was kind of like a falling out. 
Someone also wants to make amends. For, they're sorry for being angry. That's what I'm feeling. If it's not anger, it's like this negative energy, right? Now look at this. We have here the Nine of Cups in reverse with the Five of Cups. And also we have here the Nine of Pentacles in reverse your person okay they feel like they can't offer love they can't reconcile um and they're they're sad okay uh, these cops have spilled over now their flames are still burning for you but they can't even face you right now right now they feel like they're not good enough they can't i mean this feels like depression jesus like let's keep it going guys now i see that what they want is they're, they're hopeful okay they're hopeful and there's something shocking okay um they realize that have they been waiting in vain you know there's something here about legal justice and someone who is actually getting the coins so this could be the soulmate who is getting the coins and maybe the twins you know you're just trying to balance yourself out you know um because of how things are playing out in the physical i have a feeling that someone here is dealing with a karmic situation in the 3d and uh there's a twin flame um that needs to heal from this separation physical separation now in the outcome i see your person wants to come through and communicate okay that they're trying to find the strength and their heart is blocked up they they can't really open up how they're feeling because it hurts guys like i don't know i'm feeling like this sadness this heaviness it's like a depression um they know that you know they've been waiting in vain you know um someone here is in a commitment okay i like i'm gonna have to put it out there your person wants to communicate that you guys are just similar but in the 3d you guys can't seem to get it together in a physical sense to have like a happy family when one person okay and it could be both you know somebody here is in a marriage or a relationship and you're living like a double life you know they're kind of stressed out because of their ego they feel like they can't manifest union with you man oh they're just waiting they've always been waiting that's what this energy feels like dang let me know who that is you know i actually have a friend she messaged me and her energy is actually like that let's see what are the love notes instead of me how about we do things together from now on your person you know instead of themselves they want to know when when is it going to be our time you know what i mean oh my god i miss your warmth your tenderness they miss you they miss you physically you are the only one that knows my deepest darkest secrets you know, I have a feeling that, you know, whoever your person is, and I really feel like this is your twin, you know, they miss you a lot, but there's some something, okay? Like, I'm not seeing, like, a separation from a karmic on the horizons. I don't know. This person has been waiting for years for you to get out of a relationship. And today, it just feels like they're kind of like an acceptance i don't know what's up with my earth signs all of my earth signs are in acceptance of what is you know but it's really gonna take you know the motivation of someone okay to either get out of a situation or to contact someone you know and it's really based on how ready are they right so what is uh, the guidance
Artemis, we have the guardian. You and your loved ones are safe uh, and spiritually protected. Sorry, I can't see. That's kind of strange. We have here protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Now, your person feels neutral. They don't feel this, but spirit is confirming that Artemis is here. Okay, this is the warrior woman. You know, this one, I call it um, like my cave woman <laughs> who knows how to hunt. You know, she's got it going on because she can uh, really defend herself, but she's uh, very mothering, right? She's like the rough, rugged, you know, like she's got street smarts type person, you know. This person is, uh, knows how to, they're really connected to nature. That's what I have, you know. So I really hope that that resonated. I really hope that, it, you know, um, you found some solace in this particular channeling and uh, thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope y'all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.